Now this scene has become somewhat normal in Canberra this year, 2010, but a year or two ago, I don't think any of us would have imagined it. Welcome back to the enlarged Cotter Dam construction site. Uh, my name is Richard Snashel. I'm the one who's handling the camera here as we zoom in towards where the concrete batch plant is being put together. This concrete batch plant was manufactured in Texas and brought out in shipping containers in lots of different bits and pieces, all separated, the nuts and bolts and everything. And it's being put together by the guys from ASI Industries. They're an American company based in Colorado. And uh, they've sent a team out to put together the batch plant and to get it up and commissioned and running, make sure it's working properly. This batch plant produces what is called roller compacted concrete. And it's a, uh, it's a drier concrete and that's, that, that will form the, uh, the enlarged Cotter Dam wall. And one of the great things about RCC, roller compacted concrete, is that it is a lot less expensive than its uh, wetter counterparts. But it also uh, is very structurally sound, of course, and will make a wonderful, uh, will make a wonderful enlarged cotter dam wall. So this area here, the batch plant area, was cleared and levelled, and there will be two batch plants essentially uh, running from one computer system, and that will make up the concrete, mix up the aggregate, cement, fly ash, uh, water and then that concrete will be transported down to the Cotter River bed site um, via conveyors and then the wall will be built up from the river bed up to its, to its um, full height. There's a pile of reinforcement there. Some deep excavation work has taken place just near the batch plant because um, there's a need for some underground conveyors to assist in um, moving material around. Here we're looking at the left abutment wall where there has been an extraordinary amount of work taken place there and you can see all the shock creating which is the concreting in the wall there to stabilise the left abutment wall. Um, there's con continued excavation there on the various levels. And of course, these walls, left and right abutment walls, um, are going to be uh, where the uh, enlarged Cotter Dam wall will, will sit in between these two sides. That shot there looks like those guys are down on the riverbed, but they're actually on the right hand side abutment wall. It's a bit deceptive. Here are the guys from Geovert. They're a specialist team that literally hang off ropes and clear walls very, very delicately, working away with picks and crowbars and they clear and make sure these walls are absolutely smooth, basically, um, for further construction to take place. Pay incredible job they have, those guys. They, they literally hang on the ropes. They could work all day. Uh, it's a really tough gig. It's a young person's gig, I would say. <laughs> Far too young for someone like me. There's a little bit of sun there on the left abutment wall and a little bit of excavation falling down in the Cotter River bed. Now we look at the old Cotter Dam wall and I can see a little bit of rain falling there as I was taking this shot. And look at the water coming over the wall there and coming through that, uh, that valve down the bottom of the old Cotter Dam wall. So once the new dam is constructed, of course the old Cotter Dam wall will be submerged and all this water, this, this wonderful rainfall, will be bankable behind the new wall. Now we're looking back at the quarry. Of course there is a, an on-site quarry which is supplying the uh, rock material um, for, the, uh, for the new enlarged Cotter Dam wall and for use on various, uh, different, other, various different other aspects of the um, ECD project. That's the Crusher building where the rock from the quarry is taken up and it's crushed into different size grades, uh, different size rock that uh, you know, obviously has different applications. And there's a very, very big stockpile which sits between uh, the, uh, the, the crusher over there on the right. There's the stockpile and the uh, batch plant is over to the left. And these moxie trucks are busy, very, very busy bringing up this um, material from the crusher and depositing it on the stockpile. 
and building up a huge stockpile so that when the, um, the concrete work commences on the new wall, they can just go 24-7 and uh, keep moving material from the stockpile over to the batch plants and make up the concrete and then it'll go down to the new Cotterdam wall. Look at the busyness of the traffic there. You've got these moxie trucks. It's, uh, it's like Pitt Street. That's a pug mill that's being used to put uh, moisture into clay, which is part of the saddle dam construction. There's a very ominous looking scene, but there's a lovely rainbow there at the back. Now I went out uh, a few days later to take a shot, a couple of shots of the batch plant, which has been basically constructed, this first batch plant. And so I wanted to get that particular shot. And I will be editing some interviews with the, uh, the guys from America and the batch plant foreman, which will be up on our YouTube site very soon. So we'll see you in about a month's time for another update from the Enlarged Cotter Dam.